Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Kriteman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to uh, add uh, bones to a model. Um, the, the model that we're using is going to be uh, It's Ming's 3D Tune Shop uh, Rudolph. That's a very cool model. Let's go ahead and uh, get him set up to uh, do what we're going to do. We're not going to, we're not going to uh, do the whole thing. We're going to just do some main points just so you can see what you can do here. Um, first of all, let's go ahead and put a bone over here on the hip. If I start giggling throughout the tutorial, sorry. Some, it's just silly, some of the stuff that you got to have come out of your mouth when you're explaining this stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put that in there and kind of scale it down a little bit. Let's see where it's at on the model. Push 4. You're going to be pushing 4 and uh, 0. Those are going to be your main ones the main uh, buttons you're going to be pushing throughout this tutorial to make sure that everything is centered where it needs to be. Okay, that's good. Let's push deer over here. Push deer. And let's go one, zero. And there's our bone again. Let's go ahead and uh, make a point of articulation right here, 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 and here. And push four. And that's our hierarchy there. Let's center that one just a little bit better. I think we can Probably center it better. Go to the second bone. Move this down to where you're, where it's going to bend at. Go down to your next bone. And adjust this as much as we can. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you'll see why here in a second. Now go to the second bone down. Make sure it's the second bone down. Edit, duplicate with symmetry on the x-axis. Kapow. You notice how it is almost it's almost perfect on the other side here. Let's go ahead and adjust it just a smidge. Just a little bit. That's good right there. Push four. Let's go to our side view. here. And we're not going to rename these either. Um, just FYI, I'm going to leave that up to uh, up to you guys because uh, that's the most tedious part of the process. Um, you notice that when I when I click the hip again, the bone that I started off from started again from the hip. So uh, and that's what we want. Let's bring that up to the middle there and push four. And just follow along with me while I do this. Uh, it's the last bone. No. You know what? We want to do left. Last bone we did was that. Let's do the same thing you did to the other one. Point of articulation there, 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 and maybe there. Go to the front, and we'll move all these guys right where they need to be. No, not that one. Shift T. We'll have to do this the same way. Yeah, we'll just start there. And again, Duplicate with symmetry on the x-axis. Kapow. All right. Oh. Front. Four. And you notice that you have bones all along here, but it's not going to do anything yet because uh, uh, you haven't told it to do that. Let's go ahead and um, 
go over here so we can see see the process zooming around a little bit or zero and uh, this skeleton right here let's go to animation Ooh. actually select this and then shift select this go to animation and then attach skeleton and a little war a little dialogue will come up and now now uh, your model will bend right at the points that you uh, told it you wanted it to bend at and that's pretty much it quick and easy uh, now one of uh, something you'll you want to take into consideration is uh, IK chains and uh, that kind of thing uh, but for the most part you can you can probably animate this right out of the box and uh, come up with a pretty cool animation now when uh, one more thing uh, if you're going to if you're going to um, add bones to where you can articulate the head um, you uh, got to make sure just be aware that there'll be some bending involved at the nose the ears the eyes all that stuff and it'll warp uh, unnaturally um, but play with it it's a it's a really cool thing and uh, pretty easy to do anyway that's it for this time I'm Kripe Man, and we'll talk to you again later bye